<clears throat> Welcome everyone to Simply Hermosa. This is my third episode. I'm super excited today to be talking with Maria Vianney Corde um, Cardenas. She is she's an amazing woman that has so much um grace style beauty um that she applies to every project that she works on so i'm super and i and i will promise to use other words other than super but i am super excited to have all of you here i have chaparrita hello everybody i have gracie hello so today's episode is going to be more about um, simply hermosa, and then of course I want to hear more about everything that you ladies are up to. Um, and let's just kick it off. Let's go with Maria. Maria, thank you so much for taking your time to be here today. I know that things changed the last minute for you, and you had to fly to El Paso. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing in El Paso. Let us know what the the experience has been for you there. And then let's just jump into all the amazing things you're doing. Yes, thank you, Bernadette, for having me. I'm very excited to do this. Um, <laughs> I think it is important for all women. Thank you. Um, yes, but um, yeah, I'm here at the Paso working, working, working hard. Um, and yeah, uh, I look forward to uh, explore and have the opportunity to know um, more people and help more people and make a difference in this community. So hopefully um, it will be a successful trip like always. <laughs> Well, you know what, Maria, I have yet to see you fail at anything that you <laughs> accomplish. Like you have honestly been um, somebody that I look up to, that I admire, that um, always, always shows the most grace in, in, in any situation. You know, I met Maria, ooh, I want to say it's been 10 years now, Maria. Wow. I think, yeah, probably. Like when I, I, I met Maria when I was work, working with um, PEP. I was the executive administrative assistant there um, under Dr. Arnold, and she was a part of LULAC. And that's really where I actually got to like look and meet this <clears throat> extraordinary woman. Like she is a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> like there is not anything I think that Maria can't do. Awesome. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's beautiful. Definitely. I cannot not. cook. I'm not a good cook. That's <laughs> well, <laughs> one thing. I know. Yeah, that's it's kind of right. always one thing, but you well, can always get better. You can always get better. You can always get better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always yeah. practice. I told you know. my mother one time, um, I said, Mom, <laughs> you know, I love how you made the tortillas and the food and the delicious, but I don't think I can spend much time doing that or either go to and do my book and do the stuff that I do or I cook. That's why Anita's got tortillas, so you can go over there and get them. I know. If you don't know how All to make right. them, just go to Anita. So we got the hookup right here, right? Yeah. You know. A burrito. Right. Yeah. Right. I'll teach you how to make some tortillas. Don't I worry. I know how to I make them, you. too. Yeah. I got yeah. you. We got, we got tortilla makers here. <laughs> So, yeah. so just give me a little bit about what you've been, you know, what you've been up to, Maria, um, since we last um, participated in something together, which was the Simply Hermosa Gala 2022. Um, you you actually did something so beautiful um, with United Hearts of Arizona. You want to talk about that a little bit? Sure. Uh, well, first of all, I want to say that um, it was a great experience for me as a person and as a professional to be part of Simply Armosa. Uh, I think it, it, it's, it's extraordinary to put an event of this category. It, it showcases um, the beauty of a woman. Event of the um, I'm, I'm the type of person that I'm not really bold by when the how the person looks physically, mm -hmm. but actually the minute they talk to me and it's how I can literally see through their eyes, you know, their soul. And it's how I get engaged with people. 
Um, I had the privilege to meet many, many great women, different types, different body types, different backgrounds, different professions. And it was great to interact because different um, backgrounds, you can learn, but you can also teach. So um, I love when women are coachable. I love when women are, you know, they have a decision to make a difference. And I love when women shows the self-esteem. And I love when women shows that they trust themselves. Oh, absolutely. Any, we we yeah. can do anything we want, <laughs> you know. And like you said, si I'm the puede. perfect example, mm -hmm. right? Well, you definitely are, yeah, from, yeah. From, from being, you know, a widow to, you know, running your own businesses to going back to school with little ones. I mean, it's, it is quite, a, and, and those of you that don't know Maria, like I said, she's, she is so incredible at, um, and she's the perfect example. She would be the perfect role model for a lot of us because, again, she shows what it takes. There's, all, you know, she has never given up. She has never just said, poor me. You know, again, if you've never heard her story, no. she is, right. she's a fighter. And, and that is so <laughs> inspiring to me just because she never puts herself first. She always puts the community, you know, her family, everybody else first before herself. And we had, we've had definitely long conversations about that. Um, and she's always been like, Bernadette, you're, you're pouring everywhere, but you're not pouring back into yourself. And I think that's really something that we all, mm -hmm. you know, need to hear mm -hmm. because yes, we're constantly definitely. on the go mm -hmm. and we just don't, um, we just don't stop. You know, of course the family comes first. Of course the, you know, the parents come first. So, or your spouse. So, and then it just, it, at sometimes at the end of the day, there's nothing left for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And Maria, you know, I heard you um, mention that uh, with all these events that you do and you see a lot of people, you see the different sizes in women. Uh, what is your first thought on that when you meet with them? I mean, does that hold you back or do you simply just open up and say, you know what, it doesn't matter uh, or do you just, you know, continue on with, you know, judging or it, does that even matter? Actually, when I, when I meet people, I'm very open. I'm very giving. I'm very, I jump right in. Like if I know them forever, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's <laughs> and, the spirit. And, and, yeah. I mean, yeah. and, and let me tell you, it's good. And it's bad. Sometimes it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Because because you 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 literally uh, put all your heart and your mind into a person, mm -hmm. um, and, and and you're not God. I mean, there's, right. you're not gonna change people's mind. Uh, but at least you get to share uh, you what you have, what you wanna your life, what you've been going through. Um, and and to me, when I become a widow seven years ago, wow. um. I told my kids, do we keep going or do we, you know, literally down ourselves, go to the cemetery every day? What do we do? <laughs> and they're like, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just going to keep moving forward. There you go. For death, I don't have a solution for it. <laughs> We're not going to go back. Your dad is not going to come back. So let's move forward. And that's what we did. Um, one of the things that it helped me to grieve was United Hearts of Arizona, my um, my nonprofit organization that I founded back in 2014. Uh, and I'm so thankful to have it with me in my hands at the moment because mm -hmm. I I think with all United Hearts, I my life would be something different now. Well, definitely because uh, it, it takes your attention away from from what in, instead of instead of being in sorrow you actually were in create right. creativity mood mm -hmm. you know and so th that's that's important that is really important and it shows um from where you started to where you are today with united hearts of arizona you were 
your organization is incredible. This past year, it did a hundred and what was it? One hundred and seventy-five kids. Wow. Two hundred and seventeen. Wow. Wow. Well, first, I'd like to say also my condolences to you and your family, and it's amazing that you've come this far. That you don't let. Um, I mean, it's sad, you know, and I lo siento. I feel, you know, that it, the way you sound sounds like, you know, you're just one person that's going to empower one of us, you mm -hmm. know, and it's going to, you know, and we're going to continue to also want to do that, too, as well. Yeah. She is such a big um, pillar of Simply Edmosa community. Wow. A lot of the models look up to her. They, they That's the example that she sets. And, and Maria, if you don't mind me asking, I know we videotaped it and I've put it out there, but, but will you answer the question, what makes you beautiful? I think me personally is that I'm very um, given, I'm very generous. Uh, I am always smiling. I learned that from my mother. My mother was, was a role model for me. I was always looking up to her. She had nine kids, never worked, never put her hands in a in a workplace because she was working at home right. <laughs> with oh. nine kids. But um, my mom was a very um, human being. You know, she was always caring for people. My my one of my message that I always have to people is sharing is caring. Um, oh, a lot yeah. of people say, "Oh, I care." I care. I, I, I care about that. And I care about this. And Oh, I feel bad for this and that. But they don't show it. Yeah. They don't right. do mm -hmm. nothing about yeah. it. Yeah. They yeah. just say it. So to me, it's like um, when you say something, Actions. an action has to come attached with words, it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so to me, sharing is caring, you know. And a smile, um, be believe in yourself. Nobody else is going to do it. Only you. You're the one that decides how your life is going to be, mm -hmm. um, you know, and have faith, faith in you, that you can do it. Anybody can do it. Wow. You just need Amen to have to a vision. You know, yeah. you need to have focused on what you want to do. And you're going to be at your best because you're working for you. Yep. You're not working for anybody else and to please anybody else. You're pleasing yourself. Uh, and I think that's what makes me beautiful, that always – you know, doing that. I, I have a um a thing that I have when my husband uh, passed away. I started going to the gym. And a lot of people tell me, well, it doesn't show. It doesn't look mm -hmm. like any different because I, you know, I suffer from thyroid, which is another story. Mm -hmm. But um, but I don't do it to look like a Barbie. Or I don't, I don't do it because I want to, you know, compete or anything like that. I do it for myself, because if you put it in perspective, every day we put ourselves into the workplace and we start serving, you know, our kids, our husbands, our families, our work, our community, uh, and then the plus and the plus and the plus. So, and when, when it's about us, right. And you know? that's why, again, so that's, that, that was the importance of Simply Hermosa. Um, to to celebrate la mujer hermosa en nuestro, you know, in ourselves, because again, so many times we give and give and give, but we don't honor the the beautiful women that we are, the strength that it takes to get up every morning and continue to care for the family, and that's something that not just women but men too. So, I mean, because again, we, we we've got to give credit to to the men around us that support us and love us too mm -hmm. but but as women it's so hard to not get the recognition and so yeah. i'm i i'm i'm super grateful to maria for being here for for being a part of simply hermosa she is um a part of my scholarship committee <coughs> for um the arlena memorial scholarship oh, yes. wow. for nice. those of you that don't know Arlena Sanchez was one of our models last year, and she uh, she died suddenly um, 
days after the event. Um, and we, mm-hmm. and, and, and again, this is why Maria and her group is so amazing. You know, she said, Bernadette, what do they need? Let's get these kids the shoes and the jackets and the underwear and let's, let's take care of this family. So yeah. these are the kind of people that we celebrate. You know, mm-hmm. these are the kind of things that United Hearts of Arizona always, you know, considers first the kids, the family, because, you know, what is, what is, what's going to happen to her kids? What's going to happen to her mom? What's going to happen, you know, to the things that Arlena was so passionate mm-hmm. about? And so I'm so excited and honored after talking to Brandy, her mom, to to announce that we will be doing at this year's gala two scholarships in her name. That's Aww. awesome. That's wonderful. we are currently looking for donors, um, but again, this is in memory of her. Um, and Maria is super, super amazing. Like I said, it, it it's every time I see that picture, it's hard not <laughs> to um, not to get teary eyed, so beautiful, Aww. not to get um, you know. Yeah. emotional about it because it is it is something that I'm very passionate about because she had just you know she had just walked for us so yeah. oh my god it and I ran into her little boy on Sunday well yesterday as a matter of fact or Saturday and 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 it's just those things that just bring it you know full circle and I said okay today is the sign you know I was going to wait on talking about the the scholarship fund and wait on talking about simply Hermosa as more time went by but I feel like this is such an important topic because again she touched so many people uh-huh. and, and she has it, and if we have the opportunity maybe in the future to help her kids again with this scholarship, I'm all about it. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. for sure. Yeah. I remember when I met her, she was so sweet. Like, like she was like one of those people you just meet and, you know, she's right away like the most nicest person, you know. And it was just really <clears throat> fun to see us like behind, you know, the gala, like getting dressed and helping each other and Aww. doing our makeup. And, you know, uh, getting yeah. to know her was a blessing and, and, and doing something like this for her kids and doing something for the co- to give back to the community in her memory is is a blessing it's beautiful Aww. i think it's an awesome way to to um to remember her and honestly i want her yes, yes for yes, sure yes, and the life that she lived because unfortunately you know I, I i'm working on it i haven't been able to go to cafe santa rosa because that's where she worked she mm-hmm. was a server she was a bartender like she always had a smile for everybody that she wow. ever met she was a true beauty <laughs> yeah. inside and out and so she's going to be missed completely i mean there there are no words for the amount of respect and love that I have for this girl. I mean, she was just amazing to me. And and in and in my humble opinion, having Maria help me to be, you know, helping me coordinate that piece of Simply Hermosa is it's it's fitting because it's another powerful woman giving honor to another woman. A young young woman, young mother. Yeah. You know too. And I'm pretty sure that the kids, you know, are blessed that she participated with you also with Simply Hermosa because, you know, had that not happened, you wouldn't have gotten to know her. You exactly. Know, and now, Parecita, you know, may she rest in peace. Yeah. But, you know, uh, and also prayers <clears throat> going out to the family because, I mean, if it happened all of a sudden, I didn't get to meet her, unfortunately. But, you know, having to be in this program with uh, Simply Hermosa and then hearing what you guys are doing for her, and you know, honoring her and everything is just amazing. It's just amazing how women help women yeah, you know, as beautiful. families. Yeah, beautiful. and that was one of the reasons why we wanted to help. You know, as a United Hearts of Arizona, we were wow. serving two hundred and some students, and wow. and that's what I told them now. You know, we need to include those kids because mm-hmm. again, United Hearts of Arizona is about providing the tools. So the kids go prepared to go and learn wow. and not worry about what they're wearing or if they're going to be bullying them or not. Mm. So we, we try to accommodate those families so they're ready. I, 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 I will never accept a kid worrying about going to school and not being prepared 
and being so worried about, you know, mm-hmm. what they're going to be wearing. Mm-hmm. Uh, to me, it's like kid will never be allowed to do that. Yeah, should they never shouldn't. be allowed to. Yeah, they shouldn't. They yeah. should not they have that feeling. They shouldn't have yeah. to suffer like no. that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Wow, that's amazing, Maria, that you're doing that because with the bullying and everything that goes on in the schools nowadays, yeah. um, you know, it's it's people like yourself and, you know, like Bernadette, us are here with Simply Hermosa to be able to help children like that as, you know, to be able to make them feel good about themselves. Yep. You know, that yep. is a big plus. So it also makes kids, you feel really you gotta, good. You right? got to understand that kids go through so much oh, yeah, in a daily basis. And we're not here to criticize the families and what they're going through or if they receive any other type of benefits or whatever. I just want to make sure that the kids have what they need to go learn and be successful in life. Exactly. That's That's the bottom line. So, you know, again, I kind of call Maria the queen of everything because (laughs) she's just so active. She puts us all to shame. Like, she puts me to shame. Um, So so when I grow up, when you want to be like her. Yeah, when I grow up, I want to be like Maria. That's Um, beautiful, though. No, it's because you get to a point in your life that you're so busy that, you know, you you learn how to be, like, very straightforward and transparent and say, Hey, I, I understand that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, you've got to be, you, you know, uh, strong. You know, you've got to be strong, and and uh, women, um, especially you know, in times like this, uh, you know, to help the family, it's amazing. I'm I'm pretty sure that they are thankful. I mean, oh, I'm just yeah. I'm just yeah. gonna say thankful for having you here. You know, because it's like something like that. It is. It's a tragedy. You know, for them, and then to it is just one less worry when. You know, they have someone like yourselves helping out, yeah. you know, and even if you may think that's small, but to them, it's, it's a lot. It's big. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a big it's difference. A big impact. A, yeah. And I always mm-hmm. think about that. Mm-hmm. And, and and people, uh, some of the people, you know, of course, we get everything. They criticize us and they're asking us, like, why do we have to do name brand or brand new stuff? Because the kids, first of all, the kids deserve that and more. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, then, and, the- and then second of all, um, the kids go through a lot already. Right. And <laughs> yeah, then, so if you're going to donate, you donate good. Right, yeah. <laughs> like, like I always tell my board members, if we're going to do something good, I'm very extreme. Or is a yes or is a no. I don't like yeah. them to so I'm like, if we're not going to do it good, you know what? I'm not going to do it. And that's, yeah. it, it, right. it, it, it might sound good selfish, heart. but it's to not. Me, it's, like, it's not. Yeah. But that's the reason why, Maria, you have so much respect and such a big following and a lot of women look up to you because you have to be that type of woman to get stuff done. And if you don't, then if it's not going to be the way Maria yeah, wants and, it, and, the right way, you know? And I want people to do it with ganas, you know, with exactly. I always say, you know, yeah, but it's it's the it's the right yeah. way. And if that's this is a this is what you built, and it does, you know, Maria's name is on it, and it deserves the best, and that's what you are after. Then yeah. that's the way it needs to get done, you know. And if they don't like it, pues. Uh, there's other people that would love to be on your team and help you get that done. One of the things that I'm very thankful, though, one of the things that I'm very thankful is that every single year we pass our goal. That's That's awesome. Supporting students and then the sense of supporting with our donations. Thankfully, God is being so good to me and our board members that we always have you know, the opportunity to serve and serve right. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's why so you keep doing I, it. I just want to say, right. you know, <laughs> that the donors are amazing. Mm-hmm. They see the work that we do. They see how we develop our programs. And they're ready to, you know, work with us. That's awesome. We have donors since day one, and they're still with us. Wow. And that that is something, you know, that you should be proud of because, you know, there's so many different organizations to support. But when a when a donor comes back to you year in and year out, that means that they really believe in the cause. They believe in you. They trust you. They Mm -hmm. they believe in 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 the things that you're trying to accomplish. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so Maria. It's about trust. Mm -hmm. So Maria, you know, that's not all you do. Like, you are also um, on Las Vistas Neighborhood. 
Association. You're the president there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Con galas, yes, Maria. I represent the city of Tucson with uh, Las Vistas Neighborhood Association, trying to make a difference in our community. Um, you know, Las Vistas is very well known as being a, a bad neighborhood or a ghetto You're talking about you're talking about 36, right? Vistas. Yes. I yes. grew up there. Yeah. <laughs> I can say it is ghetto because I grew up there. But I love I love yeah. that I love that side of town. But so, we're doing so much work there. We're working very close with Mayor Romero and her staff and in War Five, uh wow. is always available for us. And you know, we have the the Tusa marketplace right there. And because of that we're we're already started putting more money into the community, fixing the roads and the there park and doing verification programs and cleanups and all that stuff. So that's amazing. So, so tell me what you've got coming up April 22nd. Yes, the city of Tucson uh, mayor and the city manager will be um, that with us with the program Clean Up Tucson. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to have a clean up day at Las Vistas. Um, on April 22nd is a Saturday. Okay. From 10 in the morning. So everyone is welcome to come and join us. We're going to have music, refreshments, you know, having fun and talking to the other neighbors about, you know, the great programs that we're doing at Las Vistas. Wow, that's wow. awesome. That's awesome. And then, you know, um, unfortunately, I won't be able to be there because it is my birthday and I do have to work at Ramada Tucson. But you are doing something <laughs> super special with um, with with LULAC. Um, and it's something yeah. that was so amazing last year. I was so um, humbled to be a part of that event. Let's talk about that. Yes. Um, on April 1st. We're celebrating LULAC, Mujeres de Ayer, Hoy y Mañana. So it means women from yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Uh, women that um, work hard and hardly people recognize them. We want to showcase those that, you know, they're always willing to make a difference in the community. Um, this is an event that we do every year through LULAC with the uh, Arizona State District 3 and 5. And like I said, it's, you know, it's showcasing women, you know, making a difference and se quedan olvidadas, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and, and there's so many. We got, this year specifically, we got like 79 nominations. Wow. And then our committee, we that's picked beautiful. 25. And, and that's a very amazing. hard thing to do, right, Maria? That was very yes. difficult to, to who do you pick? What, I mean, these are yes. all amazing women. Wow. Oh my and, God. and it's so hard to pick. I mean, because, again, you want to honor everybody. And that's kind of, you know, that's it's such an amazing event. It's, it's very empowering. It's very beautiful to see the, a room full of women that are – doing the work of the community, giving back, and, and finally getting some recognition because That's these awesome. are not the women that are constantly getting the awards. These yeah. are the women behind the scenes, the ones that really yes. do a lot of yeah. the work. Or they work hard for yes. it and they, they're not they're not seen recognized. or recognized by it or mm -hmm. appreciated by it. So yeah. in things like that, when yeah. you, you, you when you bring up something like that to be for the women to be recognized in that way for their hard work, you know, that other people may not see, but or maybe they do see. And then they're like, you know, well, what can we do to help? But they don't. And yeah. when somebody does come along like yourself to be able to do that, that's amazing. Yeah. Wonderful job, Maria. And it's, it's, and it's also motivation, you know, yeah. motivating oh, it the, is, rest, mm -hmm. the rest of us to keep going, to keep doing more, to mm -hmm. keep, you know, making a difference. And, and this woman, they're all from a different background brown different careers different um culture religion uh you know lulek we we are the oldest latino hispanic um nonprofit organization in the united states wow. uh, awesome. and we 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 really focus uh specifically here in the arizona uh, district three and five on women 
and children. How can we uh, make a difference? Yeah. Uh, and this event will be a great opportunity for any of the women that would like to come in, meet and greet and network and meet other women, amazing women in the community. This will be a great event. It's only $20 per person. I mean, we eat at that in a burrito plus in a uh, hump. Right? <laughs> 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 hey, you made a I'll burrito. Have to stop, I'll have to stop like, buying the burrito. bean burrito. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it is true. Yes, absolutely. That's goals <laughs> right there. That's beautiful. And so, Maria, yeah, you, so you were... we're going to have a breakfast right. and then the awards. And then we're going to be talking about women empowerment, about business owners. So, it, it, it's going to be a great opportunity, like I said, to have a great morning and, you know, see so much successful women at once. Awesome. So, Maria, you actually nominated or we there are actually two Simply at Mosa models that um, are. Yeah. Two Simply at Mosa models that will be participating and, and receiving an award this year. Is that right? As of today, yes. Too. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome thank you and that and there, there's there's a few like two or three more coming up <laughs> oh wow that's amazing that's well cool. and so and that just goes back to the wonderful community of what simply Hermosa has created it it has become more than just a fashion show it's just kind of a step into you know again promoting wonderful women empowering yeah. and, and showing women that they can be anything that they want to be, regardless of, you know, their size, regardless of their faith, you know, their culture. Um, we really are a diversified group of women. And and mm -hmm. I'm so excited, like I said, about, about our upcoming events. Um, so I'm going to kind of Turn the attention to you, Gracie. Oh, why me? <laughs> I'm just like, I'm um, next. <laughs> you're next. And, and, and let's and let's. Maria do... took a long time. <laughs> no, Maria, you're fine. No, Maria, I love it's hearing always everything. A, yeah. It's always a pleasure talking no, with you. It's I mean, for sure. Like I said, it's it's somebody. You're somebody that 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 we look up to. I personally look yes. up to you, and 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 know the the heart of the real person behind all the activities mm -hmm. and and you truly are a a wonderful steward and um an amazing friend so thank you so much for being a part of this oh it's beautiful thank yeah. you Bernadette. thank you maria thank you maria and it's nice meeting you <laughs> <laughs> nice meeting you yeah, look forward to meeting you in person <laughs> yes. yeah so yes so Gracie, yes, let's get you on the hot seat. All right, Bernadette. <laughs> you know, we're going to have lunch. Yeah. On yeah. Me. All right, all right. Okay, when sure you, you come it. back into town, <laughs> oh yeah, that's a date. All right. <laughs> so I've known Gracie for as long as I've probably been here in Tucson. Um, I moved to Tucson. I'm going on 15 years wow. now. Wow. Um, and, and I met Gracie because my husband actually rented the small little studio, studio apartment behind Anita's market wow. when when we, he moves out here. He came first, and, and then we actually moved into the neighborhood. Um, and so when I would go into the store, Gracie was the... I'm, I'm not going to call her a little mocosa, but she was there. She was, 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 that was me. Uh, she, I was, was, uh, she was there in, in the kitchen right there bugging Nana. Everywhere. I was everywhere. Um, so I was really lucky. I was really blessed to uh, to meet her and see her grow and Aww. see her become, you know, the amazing woman that Aww, she is. Thank so Thank you, Bernadette. You know, for me... I, I, I'm very like you're always going to have a special place in my heart mm -hmm. just because of, you know, the way that your family accepted mine. Yeah. Um, oh. yeah you know, you're and we're not going to cry. Today. I know. I'm always I, I, had to pull, I'm like, I had to pull it back. So, <laughs> OK, we're not going to cry today. Everybody knows that. <laughs> but my kids, you know, I, I loved your Nana because your kid, my kids would go to the store and she would like when I would be at work, they were a little bit lazy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> they were a little bit lazy and they had a charge account. And I would joke with my husband. I was like, hey, have you gone and, and, and paid the tab? He goes, 
why do they have a tab? <laughs> El credit. Because they that's the way it was. That's the way my nana thought the were. They, and so uh, yeah. I would go to work, and they'd be at home during the summer, and they'd go and get a burrito, or they'd go oh. and get, you know, breakfast. or And more than not, it was chips. But your nana put a stop to that. I will say, <laughs> She's you know. She's like, I don't think they know about all this. this, this. And she goes, turned the page. She goes, yeah. and she would laugh, and she goes, I don't oh. want you to pay the tab. Yeah. I want them and to pay. Van a, van a pre- Mira a trabajar. Nana. That's my na- that was Mira my nana's. Nana my nana was big on that. Even with my son, you know, uh, she's be after school. She'd be like, go sweep, you know, or throw the trash out because he wanted burritos and empanadas after school. And she's like, no, no, no. Primero trabajar y luego te voy a dar dinero, yep. and then you can buy whatever you want with that there money. Yeah. So I believe that. <laughs> And then she would, and so again, she's got a very special place in my heart, and I was so sad mm. to hear her passing, because she used to watch my kids walk to school. You know, they Aww. they were a part of the community. They were a part of the barrio. Yeah. You know, there was a young man that used to was my son's best friend that lived next door yeah. to the, it, and it was all of them. Neto, it was, um, you know, they were all right there, so yeah. they knew that if they needed something, they could go to the store, yeah. and your mom would take care of yeah. them. Your nana would take care of them she took care of a lot of people (laughs) you know and it's it's amazing to see that you're continuing the legacy you're continuing being very active in the community as well and like i said i've been following you for some time (laughs) but i always said you know if 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 gracie ever needs anything i will be there for her because she Mm. was you know gracie's nana was there for me and for my kids yeah she was uh, that lady had the biggest heart ever you know, and I was blessed to have her as a nana and a mom and a best friend. So I learned a lot of a lot of her. Actually, I've, I'm like, you know, when they say, I'm t- oh, my God, I'm turning to my mom or my or my dad or whatever. Well, yeah, it's been coming out a lot lately. <laughs> Even, you know, hand gestures and stuff. They're like, oh, my God, you, look, you remind me of Nana. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, she's, yeah, she's still here. Eh? But I'm blessed and I'm I'm so proud of, of uh, you, you know, I'm uh, fortunate to have had the 35 years that I got to have with my Nana. You know, she well, taught me a lot. Well, there was a reason for it, you know, oh, because yeah, you're every, definitely doing good now. Yeah, you I know? mean, I, I feel like if I wasn't raised um you know in the business business itself if i wasn't taught the things that they taught me and you know as a as a young woman as a as a girl you know i wanted to go play i wanted to go be outside mm-hmm. and you know and i'm like well why does everybody else get to do this and i don't get to do that and my thought would be like si no quieres la tienda pues vamos a venderla and it was kind of they put me in that spot but i'm so glad they did Mm-hmm. Because I wouldn't be made though I was I was made a certain way. I was built from these two class that don't even exist. This that generation of hardworking and uh, morals, respect, you know, uh, have some shame. You know what I mean? All those things that we don't really see that much. And I was built that way. You know, a lot. Of, I have like an old soul. And thanks to them, I, I was raised to run that store. And I don't know how I've done it. I really I wish I I knew, but I don't know. It's it's been an a. Uh, a, a weird, beautiful, crazy struggle journey that I've been going through without them. But yeah, it's been crazy. But but understand that you're not alone. You yeah. know, that's something that that she's sending. They send people your way oh to my take God. care of you to to apoyarte. Oh to, yes, and to, and and that and it's very true. And I believe that with all my heart and soul. You know, I have their picture. You know, everyone's like, "Where's the menu?" And I'm like, "I took it down." There's reasons why dedicate that wall to my nana and tata and all their achievements, oh. which is not even half of the plaques that are even up there. Wow. But every time I open the door to walk into the front, to open the gates, I see their picture. And every day it reminds me, échale con ganas, mm-hmm. ponte las pilas, mm-hmm. you know, just let's get it done, let's get it done. And sometimes I leave and I'm like, wow, how did I do this? How long, how did I get this far? You know, and I believe that, you know, that they're there. I believe that. Believe me. It's it's, the Nana and Tata in you. you Oh, yeah. That's what they leave behind. And, you know, and the relationship that we had. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't. I don't. I'm not surprised that that they're there, you know. Mm -hmm. But every day when I'm there at the market, it's like, you know, I'm grateful for those people. My customers, my Nana's customers, my Tata's customers. uh, They come in. And if it wasn't for them, I don't think I would. I would be that motivated as I've been this, especially this past year, 
you know, when you hear words of encouragement from complete strangers, they're like, oh, you know, like, this is my first time, but I read the story, you know, not too many people would take this on. It is a lot. And thank you. And I hear, I mean, thank yous from older customers have been, you know, and they're, I mean, to me, tortillas, those are, those are my nana tatas tortillas. Some people might think, oh, they're just whatever, but you know what? Their hard work and sacrifice went into building this Mm -hmm. brand that they, I don't even think they even knew what they were doing. They didn't know. They just went with the flow, you know. And, and but that must have been like, oh, sorry. No. Um, that must have been like kind of hard because, you know, um, from them making this grow, you know, between each other as husband and yeah. wife, you know, Nana and Tata, granddaughters. Team, yeah. yeah, you know, and having to be able to build something like that in a neighborhood, you know, in a small neighborhood. Yeah. And then, you know, you... The neighborhood grows, right? Yeah. You know, because it brings in more people. Yeah. And then, you know, people are having more kids and they're like needing more food, yeah. you know. So a market like that is to have in the neighborhood within itself. Especially you know, it's nowadays, yeah. it's very rare. Mm-hmm. Oh, but yeah. but that's why, you know, the tienditas, there were so many in our mm-hmm. barrios, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like Barrio Hollywood, you know, they had three, four markets. Anita had four alone just on Anita. And you that's, know? you know, sad because now that you go into Barrio Hollywood, you don't even you don't see anything oh, anymore. No. You don't see like the last one now. Not even Estrella is there anymore. Who who was the other one across the street from the church? Oh, it's just I don't know who, who owns that anymore. It's like but the that used family. to be like the every, Grande Tortilla yeah, Factory. Yeah. Every time I would come to town, when you know we would visit, when we would visit my tia, she lives in Barrio Hollywood. We would go by there. Mm-hmm. So I mean, some of yeah. our pillars of our community are going away. So you should be yeah. very proud of yourself Mm -hmm. that you're able to still be there be relevant um you're celebrated your 45th 40th 40th anniversary Mm -hmm. thank you for allowing us to be a part of that yeah no it was was a it was an accomplishment and you know I went into this alone I mean I've always worked there my entire life you know my mom was pregnant with me when they first started and you know, I got the blessing to have been pregnant with my son and him be around and grow up just like I did. You know, I spent my first birthday there at the store, crawled on the floors. You know, I mean, there's pictures of me where you see Bud Light and Bud Weiser's boxes in the background. And you know what I mean? And Dirty Floor, Amogrosa. Yes, yes, that was me. But there's no other place. I look at my life and I'm, I'm grateful for all the ups and downs and the craziness. But these last three years these two and a half years that, you know, my grandmother's been gone, man, it's, it's been, um, it was a, a test. It's been a test for me. Well, that's where you learn what and you're made Exactly. Of. And that's where I said, you know what? Uh, I, 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 I was, I, I know it's hard to say it. It was hard to say it for a while, but I can say it now. Uh, I'm proud of myself, <laughs> man. If people only knew and we're not going to cry, right? If people only knew what it takes, to fight the, some some of these battles, and that's why I'm going to be a big, strong advocate, uh, you know, and fighter for small businesses, uh, because there's a lot of small businesses out there that don't have the support um, that they need. And I think that from another small business surviving COVID, surviving oh, yeah. the death of my nana, and surviving a lot of other things that came along with it unexpectedly, but. Uh, I, 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 I ran and I jumped into that fire and I said, you know what, this is what I want, God, if you know, this is what I deserve, Mm -hmm. then you'll, you'll, I'll see you on the other side, you know, when it's, when it gets better, but I got some, I got some challenges and battles to go through and I, and I'm not saying I'm out of it. I'm still, I'm still battling. I'm still fighting. But to me, this is the best fight I've ever fought in my life is, is my Nana Tata's legacy. And not only that, but just being there in Anita, just being one of those markets that no longer exists, 86 years old that Tiendita is. Wow. Yeah. So that alone tells you, you know, this is part of the Chinese empire. This is not just any market. These were markets that were built off of immigrants, Chinese immigrants, Mexicanos. We made to some what it is. And that's why I'm fighting so hard, not just for my Nana Tata, but for the family before us who who built that store. Yeah. We Absolutely. wouldn't be there if it wasn't for that, you know? So. And not, not only that, because it brings in a lot of the community. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like the community, you know, depends on like, yeah. oh, go get tortillas, you know, over there. Man, you know, I, you know, I hear it every day. Believe me, in the morning, 
is the first. I'm getting dabs from city workers. I mean, for construction workers, people from other barrios, you know, and and I'm like, they're like, man, mija, I see the hard work, you know, good job, good job, keep it up. And mm -hmm. and that makes me feel good because at the end of the day, I, I, I didn't expect all of this, but I think people are realizing, man, it is, it's not as easy as what people it, think, you know? It really isn't. And Just because you're left with something doesn't mean that, that you don't have to work that hard. That you don't have to work. No, yeah. I got to work harder. Right. Because I got to work harder. Well said, right there. You know, you because yeah. you have to prove. Mm -hmm. That you deserve to be yeah, in that spot. Yeah, exactly. And that's where I'm at. And not only that, but to carry on the legacy, like oh, you it's said. A, it's, you know? it's, it was like, you know, the when I first stepped into it, not saying I don't know the business itself, but outside all the all the other obstacles that came with it. Right. I, I was, you know, I threw myself in there and I said, this is what I want. But not only that, I owe it to my nana and tata. Because the life that they gave me, not only that, people don't realize that little tiendita, as long as that little tiendita is blessed with being open every day, uh, I get to continue doing my work for my community outside my business. And it's a blessing for my community mm -hmm. because that's where my money comes from to go and buy my thousand backpacks. To take care of you to too take care, and, and to take care of others. Exactly. You know? So as long as my store is there, I'm capable financially to wow. be okay you know, to go and do my community for my Christmas event, for my Thanksgiving, you know, for my for my back to school event, you know, and all that. But just in my barrio itself, you know, uh, opening our pool and doing a free f uh, family fun day and giving out ice creams and toys and blankets, you know, uh, so they can go swimming and have, you know what I mean? Like all these, these a nice things. fun day. Yeah. To you enjoy, know what I you mean? Know? So they can yeah. lay in the sun and, you know, just have a a good day before they go back to school and enjoy themselves. You know, that's why I do the, the things that I do, because just like Maria said, and I could, I can, I, I agree with her 100%. People sometimes think, Oh, you know, I, but these, these events mean a lot to me on oh, not only because I've worked so hard, but I know where the money comes from and I know what it say. It took me to build these mm -hmm. things. And exactly like that's she says, cool. you have these people that always follow you because they know how, and it, it takes a while to trust people and I don't blame them but when they see how hard you work mm -hmm. and man this girl's really doing what she says she's doing mm -hmm. you know of course you're going to have haters and you're going to have people that are going to say ah guessing con el dinero or what do they do with question this it, question you know, it well then it. come be part of it yeah. be hands on and there then you you'll go. see mm -hmm. you know exactly. but that little store is a is more than just a store <laughs> It's well, a store plus because yeah. you also do events and everything and you don't only you're not um, like they in a word that they would probably say you're not taking from the community because you're giving. I to always the and that's a know? big thing is that my Nana thought that we're big on giving. Yeah. So and yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. And so I'm going to ask you. OK. Because. I've asked everybody, okay. and I haven't gotten to Chavarita yet, so she's, she's, <laughs> she's next. You're next. She's next. Um, what makes you Sorry, beautiful? Sorry, they're trying to call me. <laughs> what makes Where me the beautiful? Tortillas at? I know, <laughs> it's close to date, people. What makes me beautiful? Gracie Soto is beautiful because she found her strength. Uh, Grace Soto is beautiful because she's unique. Grace Soto is beautiful because she doesn't give up. <laughs> Uh, Grace Soto is beautiful because her son made her beautiful, too. You know, my son is a big part of me, um, a big part of my motivation as well. And, and you know, my, my ride or die. Um, what makes me beautiful is that I came from two other beautiful people, my nana and tata, and they created something in me that no one can ever take, and that's me, uh -huh. me inside, you right. know. You might see me cry all the time or whatever, but inside, I, I'm a I'm a pretty strong person, and I didn't know that until now. And I've accepted all the good and the flaws and all the bad part of life, but I embrace it. I embrace it now, and I'm I'm very proud of where I am right now. And I think that's what makes me beautiful. Well, thank you, thank you so much. And thank for that. you, Bernadette. And I want to say thank you, Bernadette, because. Right after my nana passed away, uh, I I found I, fa I started to find myself. And when you invited me to be part of Simply Hermosa, I didn't know I could do it. I didn't think I could do it. I was very in a dark place and a very lonely place and scary place in my life. And it was on my birthday weekend, and 
we did, you know, I, I, it actually made me feel good. It, it brought me back to where I used to go. I, I used to model when I was skinnier and all that stuff, you know, <laughs> yeah. when you're young and everything before I had my son. It, but it made me feel very empowered to be with other strong women. And it reminded me of where I came from and that strength came out and you brought that. And that helped me. And I got to get dressed up and Arlena, that's when I we were, you know, in the Aww. back trying to get our hair done. <laughs> and we're like, just my life, you know. But it was it was a time in, in my life where I needed that. And I felt so supported by other seeing other women around me getting dressed and not caring about their weight or, you know, what they look like, just just going out there and having fun and being themselves and supporting one another. And not only that, helping nice. other businesses but supporting what you brought to the table for us. And I'm glad to sit here at with you at that table. Thank you. And it really means a lot. Mm -hmm. So I want to tell you that you helped me when I didn't think I could oh. feel beautiful oh. and, and loved and excited about life again. And, yeah. So I just want to – I didn't share that with you because <laughs> – You're I, it I, 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 yeah, it, but it's the truth. Okay, and, yeah. I'm not supposed to be crying. Yeah, thank well, you. Yeah, but thank you, <laughs> thank you, Bernadette. I just I thought I would share that with you. So it made a very big impact in my life. So beautiful. So yeah, thank you for that. Awesome. Yeah. Don't cry. Okay. <laughs> Next. I'm not gonna cry. But Next. this is but this is my why. This is my why as to what I'm doing here and why it resonates with other women. True. Because we're in a moment where we need this kind of support. Where, you know, I started simply at Mosa because I needed something for myself. And I remember you coming to the store and telling me, I have a project and I want to get with you on it. And then, and, then, and, then, and I waited and then she came out with wow. it. Wow. And so it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's becoming something so beautiful, so empowering. So like, that's why every year I say, I want to like, there's, I'm not going to lie as we're doing the model part of it and we're backstage. I'm like, oh. why in the hell did I put myself through this? <laughs> But but when I'm there, Excuse when I me. see it, it just is something so magical to see women coming into their own, you know, to see women standing up and, and, and feeling like feeling beautiful. Yeah. Like if you are a part of this and you are in, in the audience, it gives you this um, pride, yeah. some kind of. So I'm so. And again, Gracie, <laughs> we just talked about owning being proud of ourselves. Yes, and, I'm proud and of I'm, myself. And I'm proud of what I have accomplished about the women that I have touched, that I've helped, even though it's completely out of my comfort zone. Yeah. And and I will eternally be grateful. And and I and I always say Rachel Castillo because she said, What do you want to tell the little girl in the mirror? What do you want to tell the little girl in the picture? Oh, wow. And it was so, like... Oh, my God. Yeah, like, so to her... Uh, eh. it, 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 to her, I am eternally grateful because she saw something in me and she pulled something out of me that that I'm, I'm, I'm just so proud of. You should be. Definitely. And you should be very For proud. Sure. And not only that, I never mm. thought in my life I'd be in a faja in front of everybody. So that <laughs> was the time I built my confidence a little well, too much. And, and it was, was like I said, it shows yeah. you and teaches you. But you know? it, it made me That's feel cool. beautiful. I'm like, you know what? I had, and, and I learned to love myself slowly again. Mm -hmm. And I'm still learning, but because Simply Hermosa did that for me during that time, uh, I kind of slowly said, you know what? I, I'm okay. I'm okay. I, I'm 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 good being me. If you don't love it, then just don't don't look at me. Don't look at my Facebook. Don't yeah, you know? Absolutely. Don't yeah. You know, just respect me. But you don't gotta love me either. Um, you know, you don't gotta love me. But I love myself. Like, you know. And you and know. once you learn, that's what they say. Once you learn your worth, then you learn your worth, and you add tax, and there you go. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And that's yeah. just the way it is. Thank yep. you. And I am appreciative of of the opportunity and the opportunity still and the opportunity to be on the board with you. And I hope in the future I can, you know, bring my part of my story to the table and help other women as well. There you go. So that thank you for that, that other platform in my life besides all the other ones. 
But this is a special one. But we're climbing together. We're climbing together. And we're rising together. Yeah. And we're bringing everybody with exactly. us. We don't let anybody no. stay behind. No. There you go. No. So yep. we are running close to time, Miss Chaparrita. So I want to mm. jump in with you. Thank you oh, for gosh. being a part of Simply Hermosa. Thank you for accepting my invitation. <laughs> you know, I know that we we talked here and there, but... Thank you for, for showing love to the community as well. What you do is something very special. You give um, young artists the platform to to um, promote their music. Like, how exciting is that? And I know you are on the radio as well, mm -hmm. but I've been following Chaparita for a while now, and it's always so neat to hear what you've got going on on the radio station. So thank you so much for that. And and, and again, it's, it's amazing to see women doing their thing, sh doing their, you know, shining oh, yeah. in yeah. what their expertise is. Mm -hmm. So, again, that's what Simply Hermosa is about, you know, celebrating each and every one of us, like, and, and what we are good at, and not not tearing it down, because yeah. Simply Hermosa isn't about envy, jealous. No, no uh -huh. we're here to build each other up, you know, like, we've got masseuses, we've got rock and rollers we've got bakers actual, yeah we've got bakers, bakers we've got we've everything got house cleaners we've got entrepreneurs and the amount of respect and love for each other it's mm. so beautiful and absolutely. so that's what it's about that's what it's and about I, i'm really excited to add you to the mix of what we've <laughs> got going on and see how your skills your beauty adds to what we have going on well, I am honored to be here. My gosh, Bernadette, it's like um, that voice. like the ne the next step, you know. <laughs> La voz. The voice. Um, don't say that because Jay Perez is gonna get mad. Okay, <laughs> he's La Voz. Okay. <laughs> Um, but yes, it's an honor to be here, at Bernadette, because I mean, um, you know, the radio station comes a long way. It's where, you know, everybody gets entertainment, they get information. And, you know, also to you get to show a lot of um, people some kind of happiness, you know, some kind of entertainment so that they can go through their day so they can, you know, say, oh, I heard that song. Oh, I love it. You know, I've had many people like call in or give me feedback and say, I haven't heard that song in a long time, you know. And so that kind of, I mean, feedback that I get is like heartwarming, yeah. you know, and to make somebody smile, you know, somebody coming and telling me, you know, your show just helps me. I can go to work all mad or se enojan or, mm -hmm. you know, they're sad about something. And you can and change the yeah. tempo. Change well, the who doesn't want to listen to Chaparita's right? show, man? She's good. <laughs> that's her, that's like her talent, man. Right. Thank you. Thank yes, you. And I love blessing, it. Yeah. I love it. You know, it's a, it's a blessing to be able to share that with everybody and be like that part of their day you know, and to make them smile. Or even to, like I said, you know, if I play a song, um, you know, like Un Dia La Vez, you know, Aww. and then people are like, oh, I, I can know, sing that that's song, my you know, song. Yeah, yeah. you know, they can sing it mm -hmm. and still remember a loved one or, you know, and or then get straight. they relate, and get straight. Yeah, relate yeah, to yeah. it. Yeah, and can, they, they can definitely relate to it. That's what my job is, you know, and that's what I love. But you asking me to do this and be more part to give more, um, and to also, you know, be able to share that with women as well, because you go through stuff yourself. I've gone through a lot of stuff as the years gone by, you know, and we're fighting, like you say, we're fighting every day yeah. to continue, you know, to be successful, to, um, be happy, to be able to bring, what else can I do, you know, to help, um, the community? What else can I do to help my family? What yeah. else can I do to help, you know, Bernadette, because she's, you know, asking me to do this, you yeah. know, and she's uh, telling me, hey, if you want to be part of this, you know, you can or, you know, and uh, Gracie, you know, she's like, hey, you know what, I'm going to cel be celebrating Chaparita. I want you to, to be the DJ. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's right, like, right. I don't know what, there was nobody else I would rather ask. Uh, you I know was what I'm like, from yeah, another strong woman. It so. was fun. Thank you so much for that. You know, and, uh, you know, like she said, no, you do your thing, girl. And then yeah. I was like, no, what is, you know, what kind of music you want me to play but it's a blessing to be yeah. able to celebrate with other women yes but now that chaparita the way i met you 
was at the radio station. Mm -hmm. And I'd already gone to a radio station mm -hmm. with Hector. He had given, like, you know, promoting my yeah. events and my That's car right. shows and not for many years. And one day he says, well, I'm not going to be here. I'm going to introduce you to Bernadette. The day that I met her, like, we just clicked. Like, I was like, she's so cool. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I love her. Like, sure. her. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah I, I, yeah, I enjoyed it because it was like, and then, you know, you don't see nobody. It's just like Maria was saying, you know, like, um, you know, when she meets all these people, you know, uh, it doesn't matter, you know, um, the size or beauty. You give them or anything. The, everybody yeah, that deserves know, that benefit. Because, yeah, that's how I am. I'm very, you know, like I don't like to judge, you know, I don't like people judging me. So yeah. why am I going to be judging? Exactly. You know what I mean? And it's like, because uh, you, you don't know. You could get along with that person just fine and they can become your friend. Yeah. Like, look at what happened. Yeah. We're like sisters now. Yeah. Now look at who I met. Yeah. Legit. And now she's bringing, you know, more into this. And this was like, I was so nervous for yeah. the day coming here and doing the <laughs> podcast. I was like telling my husband, like, I'm so nervous. And he's telling me and encouraging me too, you that's know, beautiful. as well. That's and so awesome. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, and that's important too, right? Yeah. You have a, that you have that the support, that the you support need, right? especially as in a, as in a, in a, in a yeah. when you're in a relationship mm -hmm. and you have at that. Home. Yeah. And that's home. awesome. And my son, I was talking to my son, we had lunch and I got to see my grandson. Mm. Oh my God, my grandson. You know what he likes? And this is what I wanted to tell you. And I was waiting for this show to tell you this. I was like, mijo, what are, what are you doing? And he's like on his phone and he's like, nana, I'm looking at those um, cute little motorcycle things. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh my God, you want those? And he's like, yeah, nana, I want it. Oh so my son my was God. telling me, my son Michael was telling me, he's like, you know, maybe if he's, you know, good mom, he'll, you know, he'll get it. And yeah. And I said, so are you doing good in school? He's like, yeah, Nana, I am. Uh, he's like right away, really proud, you know, to mm -hmm. tell me he's doing good. But he's like, Nana, how's the radio going? And I was like, oh, mijo, is doing good, mijo. And then he's like, no, I haven't been there in the radio. Because I took them when they were little. Yeah, I used to babysit yeah. them. So cuando estaban chiquitos, I used to take them. And, um, you know, I have their pictures, you know, with their earphones, Aww. you know. And they're so little. They can barely look over the little counter. And well, now, but he was telling me that, Nana, do you play oldies? Because I like oldies. Uh, right here, girl. <laughs> right here, baby. Uh, I'm the oldies girl right here. Uh. Yeah. And then he's like, what are you doing now, Nana? What? You know, and I yeah. said, you know, well, now. I'm getting into podcasting yeah. and they talked about podcasting like you know a uh, few years back when my son my grandson was going into junior high oh, they wow. were talking about podcasting I was like what is that right you know? and, and that's not something that this is new you know this is yeah. something new that we can we can all work on I hate to cut you off but I do want to hear what makes you beautiful oh what makes me beautiful is helping other people Actually, you know, and my grandsons, watching them grow, my family, being there for my family, <gasps> yeah. you know, so it's, it's the beautiness of helping others. Thank you. you know, Thank you awesome. so much for that yep. answer. Yep. Um, so we are almost out of time. Well, actually, we're over time. But I did want to talk about, you know, just announced that we have released the Simply Hermosa 2023 flyer. It does Yay. have Jacqueline oh, yeah. Sow on yeah. that. Yeah. Um, she was That's one of exciting. our yeah. one of our models. Um, she's a continuing model. Um, and I, I'm super grateful to this beautiful woman. She She's been like my sounding you know board too yeah. and and she was just like well bernadette you know we've done you know this theme and let's talk about getting back I to like our that. roots i love that you know theme. Mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing so um this year's um a signature boutique will be me uh, me madre madre luna uh -huh. mix art That's she awesome. is our she is our. Cool. I um, wore one of her dresses. I mean, one of her hats and her uh -huh. and her. Yeah, I think I, the picture is so pretty. Like I got so many compliments on her, on her on her wardrobe that she oh, lent nice. me. Yeah, it was nice. really pretty. I'm nice. very very excited to announce that Mariachi Pueblo Viejo will be performing at wow. Simply Hermosa 2023. That's awesome. Um, we also will have guest performers. Compañía Danza Flocorico. Wow. That will also be participating with us. Um, awesome. And then we will also have returning my favorite, DJ Shorty. Uh oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> So shout outs to DJ Shorty. She he will be here April third, um, along with Stells. Um, so I'm excited about That's that show. Cool. But I'm even more excited about the fact that we are starting now our model call. Um, anybody that is interested in becoming a model, please contact Misty Dunn. Misty is my right hand 
right, right hand right now. I have taken Simply Hermosa as far as I can go, and now I've got more committees working go. on different things so that I can continue to to create this beautiful event, but also to have other women um, empowered and be a part of it. So. If you would like to, more information, follow me on my Facebook page. Follow Simply Hermosa's page. A huge, huge thanks to Hola Tuzon. Um, and just so that you know, if you are watching the show today um, and you are interested in purchasing a half-page ad um, with Simply um, with Hola Tuzon, just this month um, for the April edition, it. He is running a special of ninety nine dollars. Wow, so, that's actually cool. really good. Yeah, um, it is. It is a value. I might get one. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so that's, let a, me that's know. a really good price. <laughs> Again, good. reach out to me if you're interested in getting that <laughs> ad in the Ola Tuson magazine. Um, and the April edition will be featuring um, pop studio Diego Rivera. Awesome. Um, yeah. Also, a huge thanks to Deluxe um, by Luciana. She is another one of our amazing sponsors. She she was there with me for Simply Hermosa. She usually does my makeup. She's not here, so I'm looking <laughs> like I'm looking natural today. You look um, beautiful. You look beautiful. Stop so it. Stop she's it. not here. She just went to a master class in California. So thank you, Luke. Thanks. Aww. You know, um, sweet. Also, and and here is one more awesome, amazing. Um, sponsor for Simply Hermosa, Ramada Tucson. Awesome. If you call Ramada Tucson for the month of April and reserve an event space, she will give you 10% <gasps> off wow. your wow. booking fee. So awesome. this is only for this month. If you listen to the podcast, call Mary. Um, again, thank you, Mary, for all of your support. She was one of my Simply Hermosa models as well. Um, the staff at Ramada Tucson is completely like their, their <laughs> first class. We really cool. go above and beyond for you. So thank you so much to all of my sponsors. If you want to follow any of us, we will be um, at Carla Mejia's March yes. Badness this weekend. Uh, the, at the Hush Social Club? At the Hush Social Club. Wow. <laughs> Hush about it. Yeah. Don't we will, about it. We are <laughs> celebrating. We are early celebrating my birthday. My yeah. birthday is April first. Since I have to work, we will April Ooh. Fools. Uh, <laughs> uh, are you lying? Are you playing uh, around? Cat, yeah. uh, cat is in the VIP <laughs> area. Oh my god! Yes, I gotta so, buy my tickets though. You know there are limited tickets. Get with Carla Mejia. Um, she's gonna kill me because I don't. <laughs> Give the phone number out. Sorry, Carla. I'm working on it. Um, Carla Mejia, she's on Facebook. Her business is Baking is My Therapy. Congratulations. I just got this. Um, can she uh, Can she get it on the page, too? Her, yes. Her, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I, I'm, I'm promoting that as well. Congratulations, Maria, on the Meet the Panel Networking <laughs> Gala for Women's History Month at the University. At the U of A. Congratulations. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, maybe Maria, she has a show. She doesn't, uh, we don't have the number that you were talking about. Yeah, I will get um, Carla's number out there. Um, and it, just again, thank you ladies for being here. It's been a pleasure. Um, Carla Mejia's number four tickets. Let yeah. me, let me. I have it right here. Um, yeah, it's $35 for the VIP sitting. Right. Uh, 25 general. Um, it's so it's March twenty fifth. Uh, doors open at seven p.m. and the badness begins at eight. So, uh, yeah, that's at the Hush Social Club. So the um, address is twenty one hundred one South Alvernon Way. Tickets are available now, or you can text five two zero three four four five nine two four for more information. There you, there you go. All That's right. Thank on. you so much. Woo, woo. We'll, we'll catch you very soon. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for joining us. Bye.